One of our programs at the undergraduate level is the Beard General. It was conceptualized to recognize that the primary school teacher is a generalist. Previously, Beard programs had focused on specialisms, the teaching of social studies or the teaching of mathematics and so on, whereas the primary school teacher has to have a grasp of all those subjects. So the new reorganized primary Beard General program recognizes this. The primary General now caters for three kinds of participants. Those with the teacher's diploma, those without the teacher's diploma but who have matriculation requirements for entering to the university and those who may not have all of the matriculation requirements but who would have some professional training. But in all cases, the Beard Primary General requires that you are attached to a school. Is particularly organized to suit the learner, the teacher as learner, because we encourage that the idea that it's not when you're learning to teach that you're not just teaching learners, but that you are also a learner. So in fact, there is a solidarity between a teacher who is coming to the School of Education to learn about his or her craft. I always take Yui into my classroom. I always share what knowledge I've gained, the challenges that I would experience, the workload that I have to do, and always try to show them that I am too learning and it is a process so that they can transcend that same information into their work, infuse it, marry it, integrate it, so that they too can become the one like The primary general is offered in the blended modality. Um, and we did this deliberately because we recognize that our teachers are busy people. They give a lot at school. Uh, they have to get home. They have their families to manage. They have their lives to run and having to come here and sit for hours with face-to-face -face sessions, we recognize that it is a problem. And so we decided to go blended so that what we have is 60% of our courses are online. Literally get off my bed um, in my pajamas and do an assignment or do some reading or something like that, which was a, a serious plus instead of having to hustle down to um, UB to do any class. Being a full-time teacher, the blended program has allowed me the time to balance my classroom teaching as well as my dreams of fulfilling anything I needed to fulfill when it comes to achieving my degree. In the BA general program, and perhaps different from many other programs, is a consistent effort to bring to bear on the part of the teacher as learner that idea about reflection in practice and reflection on practice. Because it is only then a teacher can transcend how he or she was socialized. Now that's a major problem with the world, eh? we, we are our socialization. And it is only if we come to a class or the School of Education or we do a sociology course, we realize that we are just a mass of socialized ideas and so. And they may be right or they may be wrong, but at the School of Education, then you're encouraged then to interrogate how you were brought up, what you thought teaching and learning was all about. That durable image of the teacher at the head of the class and everybody sitting in quiet rows, that is a very enduring image of what schooling is about and to try to disrupt that that's not just a one class or a one program you have to be doing that over the three years i am fortunate to be in a school where i have some old school style teachers right. so now that i have gained um, the knowledge from UE's bachelor's in education program um, trying to bring forth my knowledge my experiences my youth my creativity 
um, or that have learned hair into what they would have been accustomed to trying to cater for children of this era. You know, um, previously we would have kids that, you know, were accustomed to rote learning, sit in front of a classroom, chalk talk and everything else. Right. But now that we have dance and music and creative activities, they are bringing out what we are dealing with now with, I would say, technological children. You know, children of this era where they're engrossed into iPads and um, we, um, Wii's, Nintendo Wii's, etc. So, you know, infusing that into the classroom and making it a collaborative effort. All the teachers in this program also do a practicum. So there is a substantial amount of field work that the teachers will engage in so that they go out into the classroom, into a real life classroom and conduct some kind of research, some small research project. They collect some data, they analyze data and they report. My name is Nafisa Ali and I teach the infant department. And the advice I would give to someone wanting to do the B.Ed program would be to take initiative of your learning, to read everything and to plan your time wisely. The advice I would give is whether you're a full-time teacher or now starting in the business is for you to balance your time with your work because you need to be able to complete all assignments on time so you can prepare a timetable for yourself so that you'll be able to ensure that all assignments are fulfilled on time and that you will succeed and achieve great results. The School of Education could contribute to improving an understanding in schools about what, about what education could really bring about. Other than, other than achievement, what it can bring about via an enlightened teacher in the classroom.